Welcome back to Rich Words Music, where today we're talking about overdrive pedals. How many overdrive pedals do you own? And how many overdrive pedals do you think that you need in order to sound as good as you possibly can as a musician? I could ask myself the same question, and I think that the answers are probably going to be very different in terms of what I need, and in terms of what I actually want, and in terms of how many pedals I'm going to want to have in the future. Now this video, which is completely unrehearsed and unprepared, I'm just sort of speaking off the cuff here, is about those sorts of questions, and it's kind of come about because I recently managed to acquire the Gria Black Mountain Crunch Drive Overdrive pedal. Now I've got a video of this elsewhere on my channel if you'd like to watch and hear it in more detail, but this pedal's kind of completed me in terms of overdrive pedals, at least for now. Now the Black Mountain Crunch Drive, for those of you not aware of this pedal, is Gria's new take on a kind of medium to high gain Marshall in a box sort of a sound, and they developed this pedal when inspired by and when listening to the Darkness's seminal album Permission to Land, so you know what it's going to sound like. It's going to sound like classic rock times 20, possibly with Queen vocals in the background, but it's a very, very cool pedal. I love it, and it fills a big spot, a yawning gap that I've had on my pedal board for quite a long time. And I've actually ended up with three overdrive pedals, all from Greer Amps, in fact. And this video is in no way sponsored by Greer in any way, shape, or form. I purchased all three of the pedals spoken about in detail in this video. But I actually have the Black Mountain Crunch Drive, and for my lower gain stuff, I have what is probably my favorite pedal of all time, the Greer Organic Overdrive that is the light speed. Now this is a wonderful pedal. If you've ever watched my channel, I think I've played this thing on over a hundred of the videos on here. So it's very much my cornerstone tone when it comes to lower gain, overdrive, edge of breakup sort of sounds. And the third pedal in the Gria trifecta is actually the Rat Type Gorilla Warfare. Now if you know my channel, you'll also know that I love Rat Type pedals, and I love, love, love the Gorilla Warfare. It sounds very similar to many of the other Rat pedals. In fact, it sounds very, very similar to the legendary, iconic, original Proco Rat 2, but it has one distinct advantage for me, and that's that, well, as well as having the iconic LM308 chip in it, it also happens to have a tone control that goes the right way. Now, when you turn up the filter control on a Rat Type pedal, it's actually filtering out unwanted high frequencies from your tone, and the tone control on the Gorilla Warfare actually works in the traditional way an overdrive pedal or a distortion pedal's tone control would. The more you turn it up, the more high end you have in your tone, and I actually really like that. And if you're kind of doing stuff on the fly, if you're quickly adjusting your pedal board, it's something that can catch you out with a rat, and something that I really love about this pedal. But anyway, I've ended up with these three drives, and I can do pretty much anything with them. You know, from my basic clean tone, I can put the Greer light speed on just to give me a bit of an extra throaty sort of a crunch, or to just give me a clean boost. I can get martial, thick, mid-pushed classic rock and hard rock madness out of the Black Mountain, and I can then use the rat type Guerrilla Warfare to do anything else that I would want. It gives me a different flavor of distortion, and it goes anywhere from a pushed clean through to fuzzy sort of tones through to crazy all-out distortion, and sort of anywhere in the middle. And with these three pedals individually and stacked together in different constellations, I sort of feel like I've got pretty much everything I could ever need. Or have I? Well, I guess that's the question. I mean, I don't have other drives on my board at the moment, like, for example, a Tube Screamer, which I know that many of you would have, and I don't have something like a really high gain metal type of a pedal for more modern chugging sort of tones, which I would actually normally get from my Rev G3 pedal. And actually maybe the G3 is the fourth pedal in my board right now. But what I really was inspired by recently was getting this Black Mountain in and realizing that with these three Greer pedals, with the Lightspeed, with the Black Mountain and the Gorilla Warfare, I could do pretty much anything. And so what I wanted to do with this video then is just do a couple of loops where I've played one with my Fender Telecaster on single coil pickups, one with my Humbucker equipped Epiphone Les Paul, where we just hear these three pedals in action. The riffs are playing, I twist the knobs, I turn the pedals on and off, we hear them individually, we hear where the light speed stops and the black mountain starts, we hear them stacked, we hear all three together, we hear an array of what we can do with these sounds. And like I said, there's pretty much nothing that I can't do with these pedals, at least in my opinion. So what I want you to do is watch the loops, tell me what you think, tell me which of the pedals you prefer, and tell me what you think might be missing from my overdrive distortion pedal line. Up. What else could I put on there? Or 
have I actually got too much already? Are you someone who doesn't even need distortion pedals because you use your amp to give you gain? Or do you play clean all the time? Let me know about your pedal board, your overdrive situation, and I really look forward to hearing what you guys are doing to get your dirt tones. But for me personally, at the start of 2023, it's all about Greer Gain goodness. And once more, this video is not sponsored in any way. I just so happen to have aligned on these three pedals and something has just fallen into place. I'm sure that won't last. I'm sure by the end of the year there will be something else in position on my board, but it's a pretty cool position for me to be in right now. And now I'm going to leave you. I think I've talked enough. Listen to the loops, tell me what you think. And this actually might be something of a kickoff on my channel where I start a little bit of a series talking about different constellations of drive pedals, or in fact other kinds of pedals, things that go well together, things that don't, different kinds of overdrive and what works well where, what you should do with certain effects and what you possibly shouldn't, but it's all an evolving journey. So let me know your thoughts, listen to the loops and enjoy. I've been Rich from Rich Words Music and I'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.